here, just don't mind me. I'm just looking for my bride. Chandra! Ray, I know all of this is happening so fast, but I mean, look at my dad. He's never been happier. Well, my point is, we're moving, and he's not gonna change his mind. Yeah, it's kind of crazy for me to come here, wasn't it? Just had to give it a shot. Look, Ray, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about all of this. I mean, I was gonna come over and talk before we left. Can we talk now? Okay, look. I think you're really amazing. And I'll never forget you. Will I ever see you again? I hope so. I love you, Ray. I love you too, Dawn. <laughs> No one's gotten married yet. Seriously, has anyone seen Chandra? <laughs> she stole my dress and my husband. Yeah, I think I spotted her. <laughs> Catch! Oh. I now pronounce you husband and wife. A great sleeping beauty. <laughs> I agree. Oh, look at this one. I've seen Trish fall asleep in class, and I can't wait to see her do it on stage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did anyone say anything about the townsfolk? Oh, here's another one about Trish. Trish stinks like rotten onions. They should call the place Stinking Beauty. Well, that wasn't very nice. And I spelled beauty wrong. It's okay. People can say whatever they want. I don't care. I'm glad you feel that way, but you might not want to read the next comment. Trish isn't pretty enough to be playing Sleeping Beauty. They should call the play Sleeping Not Beauty. They spell beauty wrong again. Hmm, <laughs> a bar of soap and a cracked mirror. Oh, let me guess. I looked into it and that's what broke it. Hilarious. Hey, this isn't funny. Trish is our friend. You mess with her, you mess with us. Yeah, this stops now. <laughs> okay, now this stops now. <laughs> I think they got it now. Des, thanks, but I'm fine. This kind of stuff doesn't bother me. Joke's on you guys. Lavender's my favorite. Uh... Wow, Trisha's being so cool about this? Yeah, I'm more upset than she is. Doesn't surprise me. Trish isn't gonna let some misspelled insults get her down. She's as tough as it gets. to make. We do? I hope so. Emma. <gasps> Will you? Yes, 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 oh. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I have to go call my mother and tell her I told you 
yourself. <laughs> Mosby, are you sure you thought this through? Shut up! Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm a high school graduate and you're engaged. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> I know. I think next we're going to see one of Bailey's pigs fly by. I'm going to throw you the best wedding ever. Well, thank you very much. Oh. And thank you for taking care of me all these years. You are welcome. I am so proud of you for graduating high school and so proud of the woman that you've become. Keep in touch, okay? Don't worry. I've got you on speed dial. I'll call you if I ever have a problem. Okay. Hello? I have a problem. I'm gonna miss you. Bye, Zach. Bye, Cody. Uh, actually, London, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. Well? Honey, sit down. I think we need to talk. Oh, man, I was hoping we just said it all. I think we both know what you did was wrong. We can talk about that later. Right now, I have something I want to give you. A barf bag? It has a song on it. I just wrote it for you. I know you didn't understand why I was acting the way I was acting. I didn't understand it either. But hopefully this will help explain. She says things are falling in place. Feels like they're falling apart. Painting this big old smile on my face to hide my broken heart. If only she knew. But this is where I don't say what I want so bad to say. And this is where I want to, but I won't get in the way of her and her dreams and spreading her wings. She's at the starting line of the rest of her life, as ready as she's ever been. Got the hunger and the stars in her eyes, the prize is hers to win. She's waiting on my blessings before she hits that open road. Well, baby, get ready, get set, don't go. Darling. No daddy ever wants to see his little girl grow up, but every dad knows someday she has to. When this plane lands in Denver, I'm getting off and you're staying on and going to Florida. Are you sure? I've never been more sure of anything. Besides, Hannah Montana don't need our daddy to hang around to go down there and show that Michaela what she's made out of. Oh, Dad. Oh. Mm. Sorry. It's okay. It's a good kind of pain. I'm gonna say this forever. Oh no, shrimp and cookies, bad combo. Oh. It's okay. I got it all in here. I'm gonna need a bigger bag. Great, just great. I'm going to bail and be off the show. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I can help you. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I may not be a freaky boy genius, but I am in honors math. I can teach her. I doubt you know how to teach dyslexics. Who, who's dyslexic? Cece. How'd you know that? Because my brother is dyslexic, and I tutor him. That's how I know how to teach you. Cece? Stop staring at me. Cece, wait! going on? How come you never told me you had dyslexia? I was too embarrassed. I'm your best friend. I know every embarrassing thing about you. And there's a lot. <laughs> I know you sometimes sleep with your baby blanket. I, I know you still can't get on some of the big kid rides at the park. Cece, this isn't something you need to be embarrassed about. How do you know? I see letters 
And sometimes it just looks like alphabet soup. I wake up every day terrified that I might have to read something out loud. I never knew that. Because I didn't want you to know. I didn't want anyone to know. Why does it even matter? Because people can be mean. Especially if they find out that you have some kind of weird disorder. It's not a weird disorder. Millions of people have it. Yeah, but Rocky, sometimes it affects my dancing. Left and right, they just get jumbled up in my head and I can't do anything about it. And then I think, who am I kidding? I'm never going to be as good as any of the other dancers. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You know what that dyslexia says about you? That you're twice as tough as I thought you were. Yeah? Yeah. You know what? Everyone has some kind of baggage that they have to carry around their whole life. And yours is dyslexia. What's yours? My enormous feet. <laughs> yeah, but that's not so bad. I'm wearing my brother's shoes. <laughs> but you always get picked first in kickball. <laughs> Look, there is nothing in this world that you can't tell me. You can trust me with any secret. I know. You can trust me, too. Good. We have something to talk about, you and me. I don't like it when we fight. I'm going to be your friend for the rest of your life. We're going to have some conflicts along the way. What do we do? We will work them out. We'll always work them out because we're friends. And if things get rough, maybe we'll throw some ice cream at each other, but we'll still be friends because that's what reasonable people do. So we have no conflict anymore? No. Now we have a new one. Why wouldn't you come to me? How could you not come to me if someone is bullying you? I'm humiliated, Maya. I didn't want to let you see me humiliated. You thought it would just go away? Mm -hmm. It's getting worse. You know what the difference is between a conflict with a bully and a conflict with a friend? What? You're the worst bully ever, Peaches. I know. Peaches the bully just doesn't strike fear into the hearts of anybody. I called you a bully and I ice creamed you. I'm really sorry. It's okay. But you get back at me for the ice cream. Oh, yeah, and you're never going to see it coming. Couldn't you tell me just before you were going to do it? No, honey, that would hurt my enjoyment. <laughs> I'm sorry I took everything out on you. It's okay. You had to take it out on somebody. I'm glad you felt safe enough to take it out on me. And I'm sorry I didn't hear what you were trying to say earlier. Well, I will never go at you again. No, it's okay. I can take it. Let it all out. I'm better now. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you are. Mm -hmm. That's good. Riley Town. Stop saying that! People shouldn't make fun of other people. What did I ever do to you? You exist. You exist, and you're weird, and you get in the way of where I'm looking, so stop being weird and stop being happy. Nobody should be as happy as you. Stop being who you are, or I'm gonna put my foot in your weird, stupid face. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not. How long? A few weeks. This has been coming on a few weeks. How I got you? But I tried dealing with her, Maya. She's not a reasonable person. How do I handle this? I don't know how to handle this. Not alone. 
I thought I was supposed to learn how to resolve a conflict. You have a bully. And I have a conflict. You are incredibly screwy. And I'm screwy, and I have a bully, and I have a conflict. <laughs> what a tough thing in Riley Town. Okay, so now we know two things. First, you are going to stay exactly who you are. What else? I don't think Lucas will. Thank you.